Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to sideload apps on a Fire TV device. Now, this is possible because Fire TV devices are running Android at the core. So, for this example, this video, I do not have Hulu available because I'm here in Canada, but I VPN connect to watch it. So, I'm going to actually sideload Hulu as an example for this video. Now, whether or not the app that you sideload will work really depends on your experience um, and how the app is designed. So, me sideloading Hulu will work just fine if tested on other Fire TV devices because it's ripped from Android TV. But if you try to sideload an app, it's possible it may or may not work. Your experience may vary, okay? So just something to keep in mind. So let's start with uh, getting things set up and then we'll dive into how to do this. And this will all be done over a wireless connection. So over Wi-Fi, very simple, okay? So the first thing, I need a couple apps on your Fire TV device. So you'll see I, have, I don't have Hulu here. Um, just wanted to show you that. So the first thing you'll need is send files to TV. That's literally what the app is called, okay? So send files to TV, you'll need that. These apps are free, by the way, on the Fire TV uh, app store. The next app you're gonna need is some sort of file explorer. Whichever one you get doesn't really matter. They all kind of serve the same purpose. I recommend the one that's literally called File Explorer. It's a super basic file explorer and it works just fine for this purpose, okay? So once those are downloaded and installed, now you want to want to go to uh, your Android device. Now what I mean by that is it could be your Android cell phone or your Android tablet. You need to get an APK file, okay? So APK files are Android uh, apps. That's the file type. So Windows has .exe, Android uses .apk. Now where you're going to get your APK file is really up to you. I just recommend that you be very careful because you don't want to download a virus by accident. So I usually get it from APK Mirror, the website. Um, but again, just take what I recommend with a grain of salt. Just always be cautious you don't download a virus. So on my Android cell phone, I've opened up the same app, Send Files to TV, because you're going to need this available on your Android device, your, like your cell phone, for example, and your uh, Fire TV device. So from my phone, I'm actually sending a file. So this is what, ha this is what it looks like when you open the app, Send Files to TV. So we're going to hit Send. And you're going to navigate to where your APK file is. So here's the file, it's a Hulu APK file. And what it's doing now is scanning and looking for other compatible devices on your network. You'll need to open the same app on your Fire TV device. So open Send Files to TV on your Fire TV device and it'll show up here. Okay, so now it's found a couple of devices. The one I'm selecting is the AFTR, that's my Amazon Fire Cube TV. I'm just gonna tap it. And after a couple seconds, it sent the file over. You can actually see succeeded in the background and here it's done. Uh, one thing I almost forgot to mention is that you need to make sure that the two devices, your cell phone in this example and the Fire TV device, are on the same Wi-Fi network, okay? That's the only way this is going to work. Now I just need to make some small configuration changes on the Fire TV device. So go to the Fire TV system settings menu, My Fire TV, Developer Options, uh, ADB Debugging, you want to turn on. Install unknown apps, you also want to turn uh, on for your File Explorer app. So in this example, it's the one literally called File Explorer and it's on. This, this basically, these two options together is saying that I can install apps from unknown sources. And in my example, it's from my cell phone. Um, it's not from the app store from the Fire TV uh, device. So what I'm gonna do now is go to my file explorer because I need to find that file. I wanna find that APK file that I sent over using uh, send files to TV. And it might ask for some permissions depending on the file explorer you're using. Most likely it's gonna ask for permissions, just grant it. Uh, in my example, send files to TV will send it to the downloads folder. And there you have Hulu. It's going to select it, open. And I'm going to try to use my remote to navigate to install app, which is a little difficult here. Install. Okay, so it's, it's finished installing. And you'll notice I got a pop up. But what I'm going to actually do, I'm not going to open it from here. Let me go back and just show you what it kind of looks like now. Uh, if I go to the apps listing, you'll see Hulu. The icon for Hulu is a little different. It's not widescreen, it's a square because I sideloaded it. So that might happen, but no big deal. And in my example, the app is compatible and it's working just fine. So there you go. So that's pretty much how you sideload apps on a Fire TV device. Super easy. And I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.